Okay, so in this video, let's see that how do we update the price here inside the cart fragment that is depending on the products here, that is the cart items here. So we add one more item here. Though we can see the price here, that is in the individual cart items price here inside the inside the cart recycler view, but we want to see the total here, that is the total price of the cart. So let's do that in this video. So let's go to our application here and firstly what we want to do, uh, let's go to our shop view model here and here what we'll do, here we'll create a new method here that should be called get total price. So let's call that method here or let's create that method here and this method would return a live data and that would be of type of double that is the price of the products so public uh, live data and this and the type would be double like this and then the method name should be a total price like this and now here we want to return some live data so before doing so let's go to our cart repository and here what we are going to do, we are going to create another method here that returns live data. So let's call this method public live data and this again returns a double here like this and the method name should be same as in our shop view model. So get total price like this and here we want to return something and again the return type should be of live data. So firstly let's create a variable here that is of type of mutable live data. So let's go here and let's create a private variable inside this cart repository and this should be of type of mutable live data and the type of mutable live data would be a double here like this and this should be called mutable total price like this and let's initialize it right away like new mutable live data and now let's go down to the get total price method here. And here before returning something, we'll check if mutable total price get value is equal to null, then we'll initialize it with a zero value. So if mutable total price dot get value is equal equal to null, then what we want to do, we want to set a value to this mutable total price. So mutable total price dot set value and the double value would be 0, 0.0 like this. And then finally, we would be returning this mutable total price. Since you can always return mutable live data when the return type is live data. So now let's go to our shop view model here and here what we can do we can simply say cart repo dot get total price like this. And now we can observe this method that is get total price from our shop view model inside our cart fragment. So let's go to our cart fragment here and here what we can do we can simply say shop view model dot get product total price dot observe. And here we need to pass in the lifecycle owner so we can say get view lifecycle owner and then new observer like this and here what we need to do we need to set the value of the text view that is this text view to be the current value so let's go to our fragment uh, cart here that is cart fragment and this text view that is this text view has an idea of order total text view and it says total dollar 26 so let's set that text according to the current price so let's go to our card fragment and since we are using view binding here inside this fragment card and not data binding so what we can do we can simply say fragment card binding dot uh, order total text view dot set text and here we can set the text accordingly so total dollar plus and here we can simply convert this double into a string by uh, doing so a double dot to string like this and now let's run this application and nothing will happen and i would let you know why because we have not actually calculated the total price of the card instead we'll only be seeing a double value that is zero zero and we see that the total price is zero so now let's calculate the total price of the card so let's go back to our application and let's go inside our cart repo class here and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new method here and that is called calculate cart total value and this method would be a private method. So let's create this method that is private void calculate cart total like this and this takes in no arg arguments. And here again we'll make an if check that if the current card that is the card list 
I'm talking about this thing here that is this cart list that is this mutable cart so here firstly what we'll check if this cart list is empty that is if mutable cart dot get value equal equal to null then we simply want to return from here we do not want to calculate the price otherwise what we'll do we'll initialize the total here as zero so double total equal to 0, 0.0 and then we can get the list of the cart items from this mutable cart so list of cart item cart item list equal to mutable cart dot get value like this and then what we need to do we need to loop through this cart item list so we can loop through it like this for cart item cart item in cart item list we can simply say total plus equals to cart item dot get product dot get price times cart item dot get quantity like this and now finally what we need to do we need to say mutable cart total price dot set value and here we can set the value as this total here that is this value here and now when do we want to call this method here that is calculate cart total we want to call this method each and every time whenever we set a new value to our mutable card. So as we can see here inside our application that when we are changing the quantity, we are setting the value of the mutable card with a new card item list. So after doing so, we can again call, cal call this method that is calculate card total like this. And then again inside this remove item from card, we are setting the value here inside this mutable card. So again, we need to call this method that is calculate card total. And now again here we are setting the value here so again just after doing so we need to call this method that is calculate card total then again if we go up here we are again setting the value here so again we can simply call this method that is calculate card total and now this is it and here also we see that we are call initializing the card and we are setting the value so why not let's call it here also like this so now in each and every place where we are setting the value of the mutable card, we are calling this method that is call, that is calculate card total. And now what it will do, it will each and every time when the product is added or removed or updated inside your card, this method is always called. And th when this method is called, we are updating the mutable total price with the new price of the total card. And since we are observing this mutable total price using this method here, that is using live data, we are always notified of the updated price inside the card. So now let's run this application and hopefully everything will work fine. So let's go back to our application here. So let's add this. So we see that we see the total price. So let's change the quantity here. The price is updated here as well as here. So let's go back. Let's add this iPad Air. So this time the price is again updated with the total of the, this thing here. Now let's change the quantity of iPad Air here and we see that the price is again updated. So let's add one more product and let's go back here. We see the price is updated again. So now let me remove this, let me remove this and the price is always updated.